Hello, and welcome to another FAQ Monday. I am your host, Fluff. If you have a question, feel free to leave them on down below in the comments or go on over to my Ask FM account thing, and we'll get you sorted away. We'll get the questions rolling, get a nice fire. I'll whisper the questions. It'll be great. Be real relaxing. It'll be a great evening all around, I promise. First question! If you were in a tribute band, who would it be paying tribute to? Great question. I actually think about this not infrequently, and I can't decide if it would be like a Mastodon tribute, al a tribute album, a Mastodon tribute band, or a ghost tribute band. I think it would probably be ghost. Although it would be kind of sick to be both. And like the tribute band would be called like Masta Ghost or Ghostodon. I don't know if that's a thing, but it would be if I was, if I combined them and made a tribute band. I think that would be pretty sick. Mastodon and Ghost together as one in a tribute band with, with the internet dad here. I think that would be cool. Possibly. What's the worst injury you've ever sustained playing a show? Um, <laughs> okay. This is kind of embarrassing and this needs a little backstory. When I was in, when I was a young man, I used to just do no stretching, no warm up. I would just get up with my punk band and we would just rage and we would get in the crowd and our singer would get bloody noses sometimes and crowd surfing and just rowdiness, right? Never had a problem. Well, I didn't play a show for like 10 years. Rest repose forms, we start playing shows and I basically have to relearn how to play a show because I am not the young spry chickity that I was many, many years ago in the early 2000s, right? So we're on tour in Reno and it's, the things, the way the things fall into place, we we really, we don't have anywhere to go. There's no green room, no backstage. We're just kind of sitting there. There's nowhere for me to really warm up or do my stretches because before every show, I spend about a half hour stretching, kind of mentally getting in the zone, stretching my fingers because I'm old, right? I just turned 38, like I am not getting any younger. So this particular show, I did not do any of these things. I was like, you know what, I'll, we'll be fine. We'll, we're gonna take it easy tonight. Um, it's kind of a low key crowd and we're going on really late and there's no reason to just go totally nuts. Well, we get on stage, having not, having not warmed up and we're having a really good show and the energy is there, the crowd's there and it's going way better than we expected. And so I tried to do Mr. Rock move, leaning back with, with my legs out like a Johnny Ramone kind of thing. And I pull, I lean back and I pull a muscle like right at my waist, like my, my lower ab area, and I pull it hard. I just, all I'm doing is just leaning back a little bit and I pull it so hard, I screw up my part that I'm playing because I'm like wincing in pain. I literally thought I had some kind of hernia. It hurt so bad from leaning back, just leaning back because I'm old and I didn't stretch and our tour, as soon as I got off, I couldn't lift. It hurt to like help to lift the gear. Soon as I got off stage, our tour manager was like, you should have stretched. What are you doing? You're old. And I'm like, I know, should have stretched. I'm old. That's the worst injury I've ever sustained on stage. I've gotten smacked in the face, gotten smacked in the head by headstocks, base headstocks, stuff falling. None of that compares to pulling a muscle in my lower abdomen. Oh, that hurts so bad. And it hurt for like, for like a week. It was just, it was horrible. Went to the doctor. No, nah, it was just pulled muscle. It was fine. So yeah, stretch before you play kids. Sorry for the long story. Stainless steel or nickel frets? Stainless steel all day long, every day, all week of the year. Uh, nickel frets are cool. They feel good. Stainless steel has a beat in every way. And some people say that nickel sounds different than steel. I have never, ever been able to hear a difference. And Eddie Van Halen himself has stated there is zero sonic difference in nickel versus steel fret wire, especially after you put it through some high gain amp or something like that. Like 
there's no difference. And you know, the advantage obviously with stainless steel is that they don't wear, they rarely wear a fraction of the speed of a nickel wire, a nickel fret wire. So if you're detuning and playing big strings, yeah, stainless steel is the way to go. And they stay nice and glassy feeling throughout the life of them. They're just, they're just better in every single way, in my opinion. So I prefer stainless steel frets all day. What happened to your Schecters? Um, over the years, I have gotten rid of most of them. I still have two. I have Betty White, my original Solo 6 Schecter, and I have my Schecter, my, my satin black SLS baritone with the Evertune. I still have those two guitars. I still get comments, but hey, where's your Hellraiser? Where's your, your Red 7 string? You know, these guitars that I've gotten rid of like four years ago at this point, I still get asked about the Schecter guitars, which, sorry, I haven't had in a while. They were great guitars, and I built this channel on Schecters, and I love Schecters, fully support them, but I just simply don't play them anymore. Although I should get I should get Betty White out and I should kind of refurb that guitar. It's it's pretty beat and worn. And I don't even know what pickups are in it. I think the Mojo tones are still in it. Or Lundgren's. I'm not really sure. But yeah, I should uh, I should get that thing back out. That, that was a really, really cool guitar. And now Fluff reads a tweet. You can't go and buy pants unless you already have that first pair of pants. Thanks, first pair of pants. My suggestion to you this week is to check out this Spotify playlist called Chill Lo-Fi Study Beats. It's like a real, if you wanna feel like you're in a Casey Neistat video, just real chill vocalist music that's kind of electronic beat, synthy hip hop kind of stuff, but real mellow, which is why it's called study music. I highly recommend this playlist. This playlist is just phenomenal to just have on in the background while you're working or doing anything really. It's just a very relaxing playlist and it's awesome and it's groovy and you don't have to pay attention to it in order to enjoy it. It's just awesome. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.